Hello, everybody. We're back. We got the white cloth down like the old school days. We're doing Taurus today for June 2022. Can you believe it's June already? Oh, my goodness. And I'm going to add a little new twist in at the end of every video. I'm going to do the next Zodiac symbol. So instead of doing them in order, I'm going to do them per the dice. So if you're new here, don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe. Comments and utterances of discontent will be met with love and humor. And you're going to want to stick around because you actually have three Zodiac signs. This will be your sun sign. Taurus is your sun sign. And then you have a rising sign and a moon sign. And stick around because I'm going to do both decks and your astro dice. And we're going to go over some of this really cool stuff that's in the background here. So vintage uh, saint medals. So we'll go check those out. Let's see, Taurus. Let's see what's going on for you. Mm, bad news coming in. But it's okay. It's good. I'm going to move these up a little bit so they're not in the way way, in the super way. Let's see. Mm, Taurus, you got some stuff coming. You got some stuff coming for June. <laughs> Stay on the path. No, okay. So if you had something you were, like a person, could be, it actually looks like a boss. This looks like it's mostly work related. Um, I'm not saying this is love related, but it does say you're going to get some news. Maybe not the news you want, okay? I'm not saying it's necessarily bad, bad news, but it's not, it may need some finagling. Okay. We'll put it that way. But it says that once you get into July, you're really like, you really start to know what's happening. Now f we're going to worry about, you know, August later, but August, you do have a card here that says some, some things might turn up too, but let's get back to right here in the present. Um, it looks like some work stuff is going on. Maybe some changeovers at work, like maybe a position changeover or a boss changeover, something like that. Don't worry about your job. You may worry about it because this is like a, a lack of work card. If your workload is lighter for June or it's a little bit easier, do not freak out. It's totally fine. And then it says somebody is going to come to your rescue. Somebody is going to help you out. If you hear something, if you hear gossip around the water cooler, if you hear some, pay attention to it because it says you're going to get news from an outside source. But it does, it looks like this is not going to be terrible. I'm not, I'm going to throw in a couple extra cards here for you, Tars. I don't think this is anything to freak out, worry about. No. And it's saying this is a period of growth and maturing. It ends well, okay? So if this card was that way, I'd be worried, but it's this way. It's it's going to be a period. I think there's going to be some changes changes at work. There might be some people coming and some people going. So we're going to ask now the Rebel deck. This is a little bit different deck. If you're new here, it has cursing in it. So if you don't like cursing, I'm not the fucking psychic for you. But if you do like cursing, then you should call me. Oh, yeah, don't forget. Click down below or wherever you're watching me. Um, there should be some places where you can click. Find me on Etsy. And I'm actually adding, um, I have tons of products. I have tons and tons of magical, homemade, everything's made by hand uh, per order. So let's say you want a money soap. Um, I, I, you, let me know. Get a hold of me and I can do it as a career soap. Or let's say you need a spell. I do spell work for clients. And on top of that, I do the best readings, as you see. We'll just talk on the phone. I have a text message reading available and I can hook you up with that. Now I'm starting it this week. I'm having packages available. So it'll be a, a reduced price if you buy a whole bunch at once. So if you really like text message readings, then you can buy so many of them. You can buy like three for a reduced price. So I'm going to be starting that up. Same for phone reading. So let's see what the rebel deck has to say. I'm going to close my eyes. This is a more modern deck. It says curse words and things like that, but we'll see what they have to say for Taurus. I'm going to close my eyes here and we're going to see what Taurus needs to know for June. Three different colors. I love three different colors. And don't forget to hang out for the Astro dice. Love. Love is the first. It says, get some, give some, it will cheer your ass up. Well, there you go, Taurus. I think Tauruses are pretty cheery. I mean, when they're focused, they're total not cheery. But take a shot. Don't take 12. Take one. Okay, maybe two. Move on. Now, I when I hear take a shot, I always think like basketball or like try your hardest. Not take an alcoholic shot, but you never know. And then it says, what the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. That's a Taurus thing. Are you waiting for a sign? Well, here it fucking is. There you go. Taurus, I'm going to tell you something. So this is all about moving forward and doing stuff. It says you're going to get some news that you may not like, but do not worry. It's not about your job. It's not about your job. Um, and this bottom card is actually pretty good um, money. So let's see what the Astro Days have to say. If you are new here, these are the Astro Days. They have the Zodiac symbols, the houses of the Zodiac. I'm sorry, planets, houses, Zodiac, Zodiac symbols. 
And I'll be pulling this at the end so you can see what the next reading is going to be. But I have this available as a really awesome kit. So you will get these three dice. You'll get Psychic Vision Oil that I make. It is excellent. It is excellent, excellent. Only available as part of this package. And then it's in a really beautiful carrying kit. Uh, like a, like a, oh, I can't think of the word. It's, it's like a chiffon bag. It's very beautiful. And then you get instructions. You get the cheat sheet that I use. So let's see what Taurus needs to hear for... This rolled off camera, but it was three. For June, so the third house, you have Libra in your third house with some Mercury. Mercury retrograde, by the way. So if everything's going to shit, that's why. So your third house is all about communications. Okay. And Libra is all about balance. So balancing your communications and what is your... And, and Mercury is about communications too. So really, I, like I said... Some information is going to come in. You may not like it, but I want you to just take a chill pill. It is not the end of the world. And I don't even think it's going to last the month. Okay. So it may be one of those things like, hey, we're getting a new CEO on June 1st. And then by June 20th, they're like, yeah, guess what? We're not. So that if you had been worrying those 20 days, it would have been pointless. That's what I see here for you for June. But you know, let me know. Don't forget, you can always text me. My phone number is right down below. Super easy to get a hold of. I love doing readings. I love doing text message readings. And if you have anything you need, like a revenge work, you need reconciliation work, you need anything like that, I have products for it and I have spells. Three and a half thousand five star ratings you cannot be wrong. And I love helping people individually. So my phone number is right down below. If you need me, text me. Do not call me. Do not call me. Text me and I'll get right back to you. Oh, oh, I was going to tell you about this. If you're still there, if you're still hanging in here, Taurus, these I will have listed. These are vintage, vintage. Um, these are prayer necklaces. So they have this, the saint and they have the prayer card with them. And these are so killer. These would be super for an altar. These would be super for to keep in your car. Um, you can make crafts out of them, like whatever you want. So this is the Virgin Mary. Who's this one? Who's this one? This is St. Teresa. My stepmom was named Teresa. A lot of St. Anthony because I don't know if you know, St. Anthony finds stuff. So these are vintage. These are really cool. And they're just cool jewelry. You know, um, even if you're not Catholic, even if you're not, you don't pray to the saints, that's okay. This one has a beautiful chain on it. Oh, that's got a little heart, right? So really cool things. And then I have a bunch of these prayer cards. So we have Christ the King. We have St. Expedite. Uh, we have uh, Jose Hernandez. So this is the doctor. So this one, you can pray to him for all sorts of miracles. Uh, let me see. Who's this one? Is this? That, that is, I, I just, that is actually my grandma's prayer card. So she was mixed in here. I found these in a drawer. I was like, wait, I know that card. Let's see. Um, St. Martin de Porres. Is this another St. Anthony? This is two in one. Let me see. Oh, here, St. Anthony. And then we have Guardian Angel. And then we have a St. Joseph. St. Joseph's are really good if you're trying to buy or sell or rent a house. Super good. So check these out. I'll have them up on the website. If you do not see them up on the website, the link is down below. If you don't see them, get a hold of me because I also, don't forget, I have that jewelry from last week. I'm doing some more jewelry. Um, let me know. Let me know. Don't, if you don't see something, don't freak out. Just text me. My phone number's right down below. So thank you, Taurus, for hanging in there. I hope you have a great day and get a reading from me. It'll be worth it.